if if you extend the the idea, and uh, and and this this may be this may be wrong, but you mentioned earlier on that organisations are there, commercial organisations are there to be commercially successful, and the metric for commercially successful, in part, is um, is is profitability. EBIT, whatever you, you, you want to call it. There could be other metrics like market share or innovation uh, and stuff like that. But, you know, profitability is definitely one and companies are still valued um, uh, on, on, on that as a metric. And so a cornerstone of a lot of commercial organizations and even for non-commercial organizations you know, the finances are still important to keep doing what they want to do. Um, so that's a central purpose of the organizations. So if we're looking for a marriage of purpose between people who work in organizations and the organization itself, does that mean that the people who work there need to be on the bus of profitability as well? And And if they're not how can that conversation be be fixed to some degree <laughs> because a lot of these conversations tend to be about you know well-being absolutely mental health absolutely connection belonging um but you don't necessarily hear the conversation about a marriage of commercial financial success you know, with, 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 with the organization. What have you found? Is that, am I wrong? Um, or is, is that part of the conversation that sometimes doesn't get talked about in purpose? Uh, so we, we have another four hours to discuss this, right? The, 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 the fact of the matter, Shay, is that as much as I loathe and want to incinerate the term work-life balance, uh, I am a huge proponent of the purpose profit balance mechanism. Hmm. And that's what we should be teaching. That's what we should be endorsing in our organizations. You can't have purpose without profit and you shouldn't have profit without purpose. That's the integrated balance we need, not work-life balance. That's ridiculous. That's so hmm. immature in our thinking.